everybody, welcome back. Falcon, Zephaus Diaries, um, looking really bad. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. We're looking pretty bad right now. I kind of blame it on initially my fault a few episodes back where I breached thinking that I was assaulting. But then on that kind of ballooned and, you know, snowballed into the whole thing where we lost Paul, who was our best worker, and now we found one survivor, which was Hannah, when we were left with only Nathan, which was fine. However, Hannah turned out to be a musician, meaning she can't do much of anything, and Nathan can't do much of anything. So we're left with two people that are completely useless in an apocalyptic situation here, which kind of only adds a little bit more excitement to it in a sense, I guess, because, you know, it's kind of like, well, fuck, you have these two, like, you know, we can't do shit people, how are they going to survive? Luckily for them, our house was completely fortified before we started losing our good workers and our good people. And they have a significant amount of meals in here, I want to say, right? Yeah, yeah, we have 14 snacks, 10 small meals, a large meal. Yeah, I mean, we, we're fine in the meal department. I mean, we could last here a while. The thing is that, you know, we just don't want to hang out here and, you know, like, you know, build a fucking home and, like, you know, have, like, 2.5 kids or anything like that. We need to kind of go out and, like, find more survivors. I really want to get... To university and to the school because they have backpacks which lets us kind of um, haul more stuff in but at the same time we need more people to get that going on which we don't have especially because we have people that are useless so they can't even make the trip by themselves without you know obviously fucking getting themselves killed so what do we do well we're gonna obviously keep watching for zombies and signaling for survivors with Nathan Hannah you're gonna be the one that kind of goes out and wanders about now even though you have a broken right arm. <laughs> that sounds like a really bad idea with her with her broken right arm. But, I mean, there's nothing else she can do right now. I mean, she could snipe around the location, but she's terrible at sniping. If she patrols outside, I'm sure she's going to get herself killed anyway because she has a broken right arm. Um, creating a distraction. That sounds like a terrible idea. Modifying items. I guess you could go back to modifying. I'm going to go back to modifying because we were doing that last time with the assault thing. And maybe she could get that crossbow modified to something. We'll see. Um, and in the meantime, maybe Nathan could find another survivor that's actually, you know, capable and worth their merit a bit. Because right now we're in a tough spot. So, it's going to be a little bit slow right now these uh, next few hours, but at this point I can't... Oh, thank God. What do we have here? Another fucking cleaner! What are you... Oh. What is going on in this post-apocalyptic scenario? Every sort of good person that's, you know, capable of surviving isn't happening at all we're just getting cleaners and musicians how are you guys surviving long enough that i'm finding you that's my real question right now i'm sorry mr cooper it's nothing against you you're just a young cleaner you know you had nothing you had no say in this whole zombie revolution thing i'm, I'm aware you have probably nothing to do is you were just kind of uh, living your day-to-day -day life living you know paycheck to paycheck i understand i believe me i do the same thing misty however right now you're not really adequate for us but <sighs> Don't look at me with those sad puppy dog eyes, too, Misty. All right, another survivor has approached the group. She looks healthy, fit, and strong, but that's all we know. Nate and Hannah don't want her to join the group. You motherfuckers don't want anybody to join the group, you know that? Right now, we need anybody we can get it, though, unfortunately. She has an automatic rifle, a bolt-action rifle, and a cricket bat and a handgun. Well, I guess we know how she survived. She's fucking loaded to the teat over here. So she is going to join, whether you guys want to or not, because fuck you guys, all right? We need people right now. She was healthy, unbitten, and carrying. See, already she's better than everybody because she's healthy at the very least, and she had, like, good weapons on her. Alrighty, well. You know, I, I can't really... You know, I would like something better, but I shouldn't really, you know, look at a gift horse in the mouth, I guess, so, you know, whatever. Um, we will continue on with Misty. Now, maybe Misty could do something else for us, though. She can't snipe, she can't patrol, she can create a distraction. Whoopee. Everybody can do that, though. Alrighty, so, completely useless as well. But fine. That's another person, at the very least. So, here's what I'm thinking about doing. Nate, and you keep signaling for survivors. You will continue to modify items for assault. Actually, fuck that. Um, <laughs> Hannah's hurt. So, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. We're gonna have to do something really fishy with you. I didn't want to do it, but I have to. Misty, you're going to be the one focusing on assault items, because at least you're healthy. So if we lose Hannah, then we lose her. Hannah, I have a mission for you. You're not going to like it too much, I know. But you are going to have to go and take a look at some other stuff here. Seven, uh, there's, this, there's a few things over here left over, but I don't care about that too much. Nothing over here. Well, there's 14 snacks in this house at the very least. Um, Okay, so if we need food, we know there's food here and here, if we desperately need food. But we're fine for now. 
Hannah, however, is not going to be fine. She's not going to like this whatsoever. She's going to go over to... Fuck, man. No, no. <laughs> I I'm not going to do it. I, I don't want to be a total dick about this whole thing. Patrol outside. Hannah and report back. And that's what we'll do. We want to attack zombies because she has a broken arm. So I, I know if I send her to, you know, look around, she's going to get herself killed if I ever fight zombies because of her one arm. <laughs> because of her one arm. Sounds really insensitive. Oh, she died anyway, so there you go. Hannah was attacked by a zombie while on patrol. That was the last we saw of her. Well, I guess we still got the um, same treatment in the end. Maybe I should have sent her off far away either way. Whatever. It was going to happen. We can clean up a corpse here, which is what we should probably do, so... That's going to probably be um, What's-Her-Face's corpse, by the way. <laughs> Nathan, can you do magic again? Nathan, can you find another survivor for us? Misty says she's feeling secure in the house. Misty briefly stopped cleaning up the corpses, picked up a drill, and um, scared a zombie in the right hand through a fortified window. Misty removed all the corpses from the living room. All corpses have now been removed from the house. Okay. Well, we're back in square one. We just traded in. That's all we did this episode. We just traded in... Um, one useless injured person for one not useless, or one useless uninjured person, so... It is what it is. Um, she can snipe a bit. That might be kind of good. And I want to snipe around... What is this location? The hotel, huh? I want to snipe around the hotel because there's a lot of the good leftover stuff over there. She's a terrible sniper, but it's something for her to do at, the me at least in the meantime. So you will snipe inside the hotel. And, um, I mean, we have the assault rifle after all. Maybe you could do something happen with that. And then over here, we'll have you just uh, continue signaling for survivors, and we'll see what happens. Um, nothing happened this time. Okay. There we go. Misty fatally shot a zombie in the head. In total, one zombie has been sp um, sniped and killed at the hotel. Misty went a zombie with a shot to its torso. Nathan reported that the house is surrounded by a small number of zombies, right? What's gonna happen? Alrighty, well, at the very least, um... Misty already killed two zombies, which is, uh, you know, a lot more than a lot that we could say about Nathan, probably. So, we continue doing the same thing. Um, Nathan and Small Mew, it's getting dark outside, we need, more we need to be more vigilant. A zombie wandered too close to the fortified window, Nathan grabbed the drill and messed up its left arm. Misty fatally shot a zombie in the head in total. Two zombies have been sniped and killed in the hotel. Misty wounded a zombie, but didn't kill it. So now it's nighttime, so I don't think she's gonna have that much of a good sight. You know, at the very least, she's been kind of clearing out this area a little bit for us. Now, I wonder what gun she is using. I think that I should be able to... F oh, here we go. She's using a bolt-action rifle. And the crossbow, apparently. This requires the 223 rounds. Do we even have any more of those left? No. So she's going to be using the quarrels for this endeavor. I'm not too crazy about it, but I'm going to have this... I'm going to have her do this one more time. I know she's going to take a penalty because it's nighttime, so... We'll see, but whatever. Misty says she's feeling secure in the house, and she didn't hit anything at all. And we did lose a few more corals, so this is going to be the last coral round that we do. I know I said the last one was the last one, but I lied. Misty fatally shot a zombie in the head. In total, three zombies have been sniped and killed in the hotel. Misty wounded a zombie with a shot to its torso. So that's three of them down over here. So, um... You know, it's not great, but... Oh god, we're completely out of the ammunition now? No, don't tell me that's the case. No, she used four of them last time around. Alrighty, we'll do this one more time. A zombie wandered too close to the fortified window, and Nathan grabbed the drill and stabbed its left foot. Misty Failey shot a zombie in the head, and total four zombies have been sniped and killed at the hotel. Misty wounded a zombie with a shot to its right leg. Fuck, dude, we need a one more survivor. Right now, we're kind of clearing this house, this area a little bit. I'm not sure how good that's going to be for us. Um, Six corals, huh? At this point, I said we just go for broke on it. Misty Failey shot a zombie. That's going to be five zombies now. And do it one more time. Oh, she's using the regular bullets now. Alrighty. Well, not much happened that turn. So, 39mm rounds, huh? I can't get too crazy with that because it's our last line of defense, so let me do this one more time. Misty wounded a zombie with a shot to its torso. A further, eh, a farther three zombies were also wounded but not killed. Okay, that's it. No more um, spending of the ammunition here. I know it's probably a bad idea, but... You know, we're kind of really backed up against the wall here. I really can't do much other than do that. So, Misty, thank you for at least uh, tinning down some of the numbers here. It's the middle of the night, so we can't do much, however. Um. 
Misty, I'm gonna put you in harm's way again. I'm gonna have Misty signal for survivor. Actually, not her, but I'm gonna put Nate in harm's way. You signal for survivors, and then Nathan, you're gonna go for a patrol outside. I don't like it as much as you do, Nathan. You're gonna probably die right now, too, but. It is what it is, my friend. Just report back. There he goes. Nathan was attacked by a zombie while on patrol. He took care of them. Using a baseball bat, he struck down three of them. Nathan received some bruising and a concussion. Nathan stopped his patrol because of the attack. Uh, Missy reported that there is no zombies outside the house. She added that the noise level at the house is low. So at the very least, our house is kind of secure now, but Nathan is kind of a little bit jacked up here. Minor lacerations, contusions, and concussion. Okay, well... We can't, we can't treat him anymore. Is that because we're out of... No, we have bandages and... We have a lot of stuff here, I mean... You should be trying to treat yourself, my friend. Just throwing it out there. Nathan's idle. Um... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Nathan, go do it again. Probably a bad idea, I know, but whatever. No, nothing happened. Missy and Nathan ate two snacks. Alrighty. Um... I kind of want to wait till morning. And we could probably do our last um, stand against this hotel. And possibly his university. We're gonna die at the university is a problem. I mean, with 11 zombies in there and two people that aren't really good fighters, we're kind of really backed up against the wall. Even if we were to get to the hotel and get these items that we left behind for protection, I still think we're really backed up against the wall at this point. We're just kind of like fighting a, a losing battle right here. It's kind of like a thing for pride, essentially. Alrighty, Nathan. What I'm gonna have you do, my friend, is um, just modify items for an assault because... That's what we're going to be doing really soon, come morning time, so we'll see what ha what happens here. Misty briefly stopped watching for zombies, picked up a carving knife and sliced the zombie in the left leg through a fortified window. How did that zombie get that leg through the window is my real question. And now uh, Nate is modifying a silenced handgun. Alrighty, let's keep going. Same thing, man, until morning. Misty says she's feeling secure. Nate is still getting started in the silenced handgun. Misty briefly stopped watching for zombies. Misty reported that the house is surrounded by a small number of zombies again. And now it's going to be morning at the very least, so we'll see. Misty briefly stopped watching for zombies, picked up a screwdriver. Right. So we're completely surrounded. I'm not happy about it. But at this point, I am also done with this shit. So, we are going to go in here. And we're going to assault like we've never fucking assaulted before. Alright, who do we have here? We have a baseball bat, a double-barreled handgun. Do we have ammunition for this? We uh, definitely do. And we have ammunition for a uh, silenced handgun. I am going to actually do close combat 4, close combat 3, assault 3. What is the submachine gun like? Close combat's really terrible for it. Okay, so we'll do double-barreled handgun and we'll do the silenced handgun. We'll take uh, a lot of this ammunition. I mean, at this point, you might as well go for broke, right? I mean, if this fails, we're fucked. So... We'll take a lot of this rounds with us if we have to. Doesn't really matter. Alrighty. We will also take a... Flashlight. We will also take a crowbar. Let's use a handy crowbar, actually. Because it's handy! Why not use the handy crowbar other than the crowbar? So the handy crowbar, it's a little bit better, obviously. Because <laughs> it's handy. This is it right there in the name. Can I take the backpack as well? I mean, I almost might as well do it, but... At the same time, it's like, what's the fucking point? Yeah. This is what we do. So we're gonna assault, and probably game over right now. Yep. Game over. Yep. Game over. Nathan and Misty could not hold out against the horrors of the town. Their struggle for survival has come to an end. Read the final entries. Nathan and Misty assaulted the location. Misty and Nathan opened fire on the 20 zombies lurking around outside. 20 fucking zombies. Yeah, it's no wonder why we died. They took down three of them. Misty and Nathan moved in for some close combat, but were slaughtered. They took 14 zombies with them. Well... Of 20 zombies, we took down 14 with us, so, you know, they, they made a pretty good effort, I would say, at the very least, so, hey, there's that. Not too happy about this fucking run, to be honest with you. It was going so well, and then, you know, the moment we lost our good fucking workers, it was just... That was it. It was it for us, unfortunately. Oh, well. What, what's happened here? Just fucking freeze the game or something. I think I just froze the game. Either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I encourage you to leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support really does mean a lot. Next episode, we're going to be starting another run. However, I have a, a mod that I found that I could find. It could be pretty interesting, at least for all of you, um, Rio, like, uh, all of you television or television? All of you television fans out there and zombie fans alike. I have a pretty good mod for next episode, so uh, tune in for that one. I'll catch you next time.